Hey everybody and welcome to my video. You already saw the title so let's just get into it. My objective today is to try and beat the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask without using the Song of Time at all after the first cycle. Or more specifically, to beat the game in under 6 days, hence under a week. Now just a warning, I haven't played this game in probably well over a year, so I don't think I'm actually going to pull this off, but we're definitely going to give it our best shot. Rules are pretty simple. The only real rules are I can't play the normal Song of Time. I can still use the inverted Song of Time and the Song of Double Time. I just can't use the normal Song of Time. As a result, I'm out of time limit and I have to beat the game as soon as I possibly can. The other rule is to try and not use any glitches because I want to try and do this under the constraints of the game without trying to abuse any of its mechanics. Just one more note, but I always do these attempts on my Twitch channel. If you're interested, the link's in the description. Okay, with all that said and done, let's get into the run. The beginning of the game goes hardly any different than it normally does in any other playthrough. It's just trying to get everything set up before the end of the three day cycle so that we can go up the top of the clock tower and confront Skull Kid there. Nonetheless, I still struggled here because I honestly could not remember anything about this part of the game. I was only able to find a stray fairy at night. I have no idea where it is during the day. I also had to beat the bombers in their game of hide and seek and I guess tag. Is this what cops and robbers is like? I would not know, I never actually had friends when I was growing up. But I was really strapped for time. I actually thought I was going to fail this because I never could find all the bombers. I actually did not know that one of the bombers was just standing right where I thought Seikon would be hiding. And I never bothered to check because I thought that that bomber was Seikon. And I just thought it'd be a waste of time to do it. But sure enough, I did find all the bombers in time. With like one hour left to spare, which is like less than 30 seconds. So I did get the password to the bomber's hideout, and we were finally able to make progress with the story. I think it's the moon's tear. You ever wonder why the moon is actually crying? I think that the moon doesn't want to crash into Clock Town and kill everyone. I feel like it's just being forced to. It's under duress, and it's trying so hard to resist, and it's so painful for it, too. The moon really is a good guy. I bet it just wants to be killed, so it doesn't kill everyone. I feel sorry for this thing. Without much left I could think to do, I decided to then get some more rupees to get the adult wallet and then end the first cycle afterwards. And now the true run begins. With both the Song of Healing and the Deku Mask in my possession, I make a beeline straight for Woodfall. In fact, in my haste to get out of Clock Town as soon as possible to head for Woodfall, I completely forgot to get my rupees out of the bank, to get the bomb bag from the bomb shop, and to hit the owl statue in Clock Town, allow me to walk back here after getting the song of soaring. Whoop, there it goes. Yep, my brain stopped. Yeah, pretty bad start. The one thing I didn't forget, and it's probably also the most important part, is to also use the inverted song of time to slow down the day as much as I possibly can and get myself as much time as I could possibly need. But you know what? It's all fine. Because this challenge will be a learning process. Like I said before, I don't have very much experience with Majora's Mask, and I'm going to have to do a lot of on-the-fly thinking, especially with the dungeons, because I'm very unfamiliar with a lot of their loadouts. So I will be optimizing this attempt, and we will be doing much better in any subsequent attempts too. By the way, I'm using the Wii U gamepad because I'm playing this on the Wii U Virtual Console, and I freaking hate this controller so much because the inputs that come from a control stick are not conducive to having to use directional buttons which are emulated on the Nintendo 64. There's a lot of misinputs I make and you can expect to see a lot of screw ups that will also likely waste us time. The game proceeds as normal. We get our first bottle and we're going to be requiring this bottle for later on as we go to the Deku Palace. As far as Deku Palace, I actually get through this area really freaking fast. Like I am getting through this maze and getting past these guards with like no trouble whatsoever. And I get the magic beans really quickly too. I then proceed to waste the water I just got so easily from where I got the magic beans when I was trying to plant the freaking beans in the soil. So that wasted a lot of time because I had to go all the way back to Woodfall Swamp to get more fresh water and then water the beans then. Eh, but whatever. We got the Song of Awakening now. 